Hello everyone. This is Hisham Bak, the founder of AIO Remote. In this quick video, I'd like to highlight the major improvements in the last couple of updates. First of all, AIO Remote is a remote control application that lets you use your phone or tablet to control another phone or tablet or another PC using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and it also supports Windows, Linux and Mac. There is a predefined set of remotes, for example, mousepad, gamepad, file manager, media apps, powerpoint. But in this quick video, I'd like to focus on creating your fully customized custom remote using a very powerful custom remote designer. And when you finish, you can share your design remote with all users around the world. You can upload it to online remotes gallery, where users around the world can see your app, your remote name, description, number of downloads, screenshot, ratings, comments, and you can download your remote. Let's first, yes, this custom remote, you can add, you can add a new remote from scratch or from template, let's say from template. Second, you can select if you want to control computer or Android. Third, you will choose one of the predefined templates. Here we can choose, for example, mousepad and finish. If I created it from, from empty, you can um, select portrait or landscape, you can select computer or Android, you can select Windows or Linux or, Linux or Mac. You can change background color. You can even assign any background image in your gallery. So, for example, I can change image, select any image. But for now, I will just select a color. You can choose any color. You can even choose the transparent color, the degree of transparency. Okay, can add any number of buttons and reposition, resize. You can uh, resize using multi-touch. You can use uh, multi-touch to resize width or high or both. In your button, you can change properties like title, foreground color, background color, or choose any background image with transparent background so you can design any any button ever you imagine so if you want to design a remote just create the background in Photoshop design buttons and let the, uh, their background transparent so now you can create any shape any button and resize it and reposition it when you finish you can assign action to this button for now the supported actions are keyboard or mouse for example you can send to your computer mouse left mouse right or keyboard any combination select any letter and combine with it when or alt or control or shift or in or command on mac you can also duplicate your button. When you design a button, you don't need to redesign the second button. You can duplicate your button. You can um, add uh, mousepad. Uh, the same like the mousepad feature. You can add joystick. You can add any number of joystick uh, to use it in games. When you assign an action to joystick, you have four tabs. One action for up, down, left, right. If you want to resize your button, but you need accuracy in resize and reposition, just select accurate position size and put the pixels you want to your button. The same for mousepad, you can um, duplicate, you can 
set uh, background color or background image. Now you created your remote. When you finish, save it. Give it a name. Hook. Okay. Now you can use it when you are connected to your computer. Uh, you have a, another strategy to design your remote. Um, you can uh, put a background image, design your remote as a background image. For example, let's use um, uh, let's make our uh, our remote in landscape mode. and uh, background image now you have your remote designed as one image now you can add button and change the background color to be transparent I'll leave it in the middle so we can see it and now you have a transparent button, you can resize it, reposition it, and put it on the button you want. So you can have your remote designed as a one image, and you put a trans transparent buttons on the buttons in this background image. Okay, now I designed my remote. I designed a great custom remote. What about sharing it with users around the world? I will view the remote. This is not a great remote, but as an example, I will press upload. And here I must log in to upload my remote. You can log in or sign up. Now I log in. Okay. You will give. Um, you can change the name of your remote. You will give it a category, for games, internet, or whatever. And you will give it a description. For example, if you control a game that exists on Android market, you can put the link. This description has a clickable links. So if you put a link, user can read the description of your remote and download the game you want to control. And when you finish, you press upload remote. When you upload remote, I will receive it and review it in 48 hours, then approve it. Okay, let's see what exists now in, cast, in online remote gallery. First, there is a legacy online remote gallery. I didn't remove remotes inside it, but please, if you created a remote in the legacy custom remote gallery, please re-upload it to the new online remote gallery. So we're turning back and go to the new online remote gallery. I upload just three remotes for now as an example. Here is Ice Tower Classic. You can see the number of downloads when you enter inside it. You can see number of downloads, description, link to the game and the targets Android created by country, email, Twitter, PBM you can uh, decide if you want users around the world to see your information or not. And you can see now a screenshot of the remote. In the old online remote gallery, you just download remotes. But now you have a screenshot. You have rating. You can rate this remote. Give it four stars, for example. Give it a rating and rate. And when you rate, just few seconds and you can see your rating okay uh, I will download it when you download you will just check the notification bar that download started and just give it 
seconds to download if you use uh, uh, images or graphics uh, inside uh, your remote it may take some time to upload or download especially if you have slow internet connection until this remote is downloaded I will return back and uh, set up um, how to control another Android device so in the in your tablet first you need to go to settings of your device and go to language and input and current input method choose my keyboard AIO remote keyboard and return back to the application uh, make sure that uh, your phone and your tablet in same Wi-Fi network here I just make my uh, my Galaxy S2 phone as a hotspot and connect it from my tablet to it and then I will choose the server mode instead of client mode and here it displayed an IP I must enter this IP inside my phone so I will go to my phone and press the connect button and add my tablet I will name it tablet and uh, the type is Android connection type uh, supported now is Wi-Fi only but Bluetooth will be supported in future IB is one nine two okay and apply I press on um, the tablet it connected successfully and because I just support custom remotes only for Android devices for now so all other icons will be disappeared I will uh, now our uh, remote for iStar classic just downloaded so I will click on it I'll go to iStar classic and this is our remote for iStar classic on your tablet now you are ready to control it so download it from the market and uh, here is the um, um, games I tried Ice Tower, uh, Ice Tower 2 and uh, Temple Jump and Sega Emulator uh, if you uh, tried another game or another emulator and you succeed to control it just create your custom remote and share it with users around the world. I will start Ice Tower. Okay. And as you can see now, I will click in this arrow here and when I look here, it is reflected. Click enter, play game. And now I can move left, as you can see, I can move left, right, and press jump. I will see here, jump, it's just working. Yes, so uh, in, in, in this quick video, we highlighted creating your own fully customized custom remote share it with the world where all users can see your remote description, screenshot, rating, comments and you can control another device there is a lot of features in my roadmap this is just a beta feature and I will keep it secret for now I hope to hear your feedback please send me if you have issue or suggestion to support at eioremote.net and uh, please check my blog blog.eioremote blog.eioremote.net thank you very much